The Saskatchewan government released a back-to-school plan that is simply not adequate to keep us all safe from a community outbreak. Schools connect the entire community. An outbreak in a school could lead to an outbreak within our community. To reduce the spread of SARS-CoV-2, who recommends that we avoid the three C's? What are the three C's? Confined spaces, close contact, and crowded spaces. Classrooms are all three, and they are the highest risk settings. For months, we've been encouraged to physically distance, keep our bubbles small, avoid crowds, avoid confined indoor spaces with crowds. How do we avoid the three C's in already overcrowded classrooms? How do we spread out and physically distance in classrooms that are already overcrowded? There simply is not enough space in a classroom with 30 children to be able to do two meters of physically di physical distancing between students. Demand reduced class sizes. Students should be spread out as much as possible. Ventilation is of the utmost importance. Many old schools do not have up-to-date ventilation. Demand increased and updated ventilation. Demand that students spend a lot of time outdoors, especially in the nice months of the school year. Demand a comprehensive plan, including testing and tracing. This is yet to be created and it will not be ready by September 1. Without this in place, it'll be impossible to know if there's community transmission happening from a classroom. While important, masks should not be seen as a silver bullet. Masks are one component after reduced class size, increased ventilation, and an outbreak plan. Avoid shaming teachers and families who have contracted COVID-19. Shame could create stigma. Contact your MLA and your school board trustee. Demand adequate pandemic funding for schools. Demand a delay to the start of the school year until all of these pieces are in place. Our health and our economy depend on a strong school plan. Without a strong school plan, we could be headed for another lockdown. A message from Safe Schools Saskatchewan.